The Russian military, Ukrainian defense forces captured Liman. Further resistance is pointless. You are surrounded. The operation in Liman is still going on. According to the Ukrainian intelligence department, separate groups of the Russian military continue to surrender to the armed forces of Ukraine. The total number of prisoners of war on both sides since the start of the full-scale invasion has not been released. However, the main intelligence department reports that the new replenishment of the exchange fund will help in the future to return people from Russian captivity. Several tracks of multi-level negotiations are currently underway, and this is such a strategic goal and ambitious. It is the exchange of all for all, but at the same time negotiations on individual exchanges do not stop, the last of which took place recently and will take place in the near future. That is, it is a multi-level process, and Ukraine is doing everything possible to return all its defenders home. Andriy Yuso representative of the coordination headquarters of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine for the treatment of prisoners of war. Ukraine complies with all Geneva conventions regarding Russian prisoners of war. They have the opportunity to communicate with their families by phone every few days. They are provided with three meals a day and receive medical care. Moreover, unlike Russia, Kyiv admits representatives of international organizations and the press to prisoners of war. Can I stun grenade do that? Maybe. Did they help you? Yes. Well, I just want to understand that it can be restored. Yes. Did you want to fight? No. Well, you came to the military registration and enlistment office yourself, didn't you? Did you ask them to take you to fight? No, they sent me from the university. For an organized and safe surrender of the Russian military, Ukraine launched the I want to leave project. It informs about the algorithm of actions and even organizes the surrender process. Since the beginning of Putin's mobilization, the number of calls to the cold center has increased significantly. For Russians who do not want to participate in this criminal war, they even offer special conditions. All those who voluntarily surrender will be issued as captured in battle. This will keep all payments and benefits due to Russian military personnel and protect against possible persecution. Surrender, having previously discussed the terms of surrender with authorized representatives of the Ukrainian command. From the official Telegram channel of the project, I want to leave. A relative of the mobilized or himself, if he wants to stay alive and does not want to commit crimes, can contact the hotline of the I Want to Leave project, reported by Sergei Kulas, Danilo Kobza, UATV News.